Off. The double dock hangar at Minot Air Force Base now has a new name, honoring the memory of an Air Force veteran and longtime Minot community leader. Alex Coleman spoke with the family of Chief Master Sergeant Fred Ganser on what this honor means to them. Emotion. To hear a lot of great things about our dad. Yeah. A lot of emotion. The day after his high school graduation in 1958, Fred Ganser enlisted in the Air Force. He spent 31 years in the Air Force and made Minot his home, but he never gave up his love of planes. After his passing two years ago, efforts got underway to honor him. He was a honest and a gentleman who was full of integrity. Fred knew how to get things done, and he always worked for the young airmen that worked on the ramp. Senator Heidi Heitkamp got involved after hearing about him. The idea of dedicating this to Fred, Chief Master Sergeant, um, just absolutely grabbed my heart. Fred's wife Harriet says as much as she knows he would appreciate this honor, he likely would have felt that there were others more deserving. The first thing I thought of, I could hear Fred say, I don't deserve this. There's people that's done more than I have. He was a very humble man. Ganser spent 13 years at the Minot Air Force Base maintaining the B-52 fleet and after that served for 20 years on the board of directors for the Dakota Territory Air Museum, helping coordinate air shows and volunteering his time repairing aircraft. And now, the 50,000 square foot double dock B-52 will bear his name. To have him uh, memorialized and to have future generations here uh, walk into this facility and see the Ganser maintenance facility and to, to tie that in and for, to him to be remembered is, 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 is huge for us. At the end of the ceremony, Chief Ganser's family unveiled a plaque that will hang as a tribute to his memory. To have something that permanent go up there to be there for people to look at forever and learn from his contributions to the community I think is a great thing. My children will always be proud of their father and knowing that he was given this honor will be a treasure that they'll always have. No one could ever take that away from him. Senator Heidkamp also presented his family with an American flag that flew over the U.S. Capitol in his honor. For NBC North Dakota News, I'm Alex Coleman. Chief Ganser was also the very first member of the Dakota Territory Air Museum.